Hello, this is Bob Golding. I'm a senior es escalation engineer uh, at uh, Microsoft in Charlotte, North Carolina. And uh, this is the companion video to uh, an Ask Bob test tech article called Memory Dump 101. And I have the Memory Dump article in the, on the screen here. And it has some uh, information on how to set up WinDBG to look at a memory dump. Uh, we, the uh, whole idea of this is, is that we here at Microsoft get uh, many memory dumps and a lot of times uh, the memory dump uh, crash that caused a memory dump is, uh, is a third party driver. And a lot of times uh, we'll look at the dump and we'll see it's a third party driver and we'll want to, and we uh, re recommend that the vendor be engaged. And uh, if somebody were to look at the dump themselves, I think this would uh, shortcut a lot of this and um, help uh, with uh, expedite matters when the memory dump is being reviewed. So this is the Memory Dump 101 uh, article from AskBob.Tech. And uh, this is a WinDBG session that I set up on a memory dump. And what I've done is I went to File, and I uh, I opened my crash dump. I set my symbol file path to the Microsoft Symbol server. And uh, the sample dump I have is a uh, is from a program called Not My Fault. It's up on uh, sysinternals.com and that can be used to crash the system to create a memory dump. And the way it does this, it um, <clears throat> causes a stop D1, which is a uh, invalid memory access at uh, an elevated RQL. And uh, in, in the uh, bug check parameters, you can see this, you have the address referenced the RQL level, and this is the um, the EIP or PC of um, where the access occurred. And you, you can see here, if we go to, we do a K, and we go to frame uh, frame three. That's where the invalid access occurred. So as in my article, you do dot frame slash. Uh, frame 3 slash R and you can get sorry there had any wrong order you could get the uh, you could get the registers at the time of the failure now beware that uh, in x64 the, uh, a lot of parameters are passed in registers, and some of the registers are volatile, and they may not contain all the relevant information, or all the uh, information time of the trap. But most of the time, um, it is it is correct. And as you can see here, we did make the access at um, that address, and if we do bang PTE, which will display the uh, will display the uh, page table entry you can see that the page has been freed it's not valid uh, bit 0 is the valid bit and that bit has to be set um, on to in order to for the for the hardware to uh, make the resolution on a page table entry to the page it represents as you can see here this is a valid page um, and these are the these are the bits here. This is more more of this information can be found in the Intel Animal. This is the access information, and this is the page number. And you see here we this, this this bit bit zero is cleared. The software uses the upper bits for information, uh, memory manager, and uh, the way this page is uh, presented, it has been freed already. And that's what not my fault does. It accesses the it accesses the invalid memory address to uh, produce a crash. You can get a memory dump. So here again is another example of uh, how one can look at the uh, 
a memory dump before it goes to Microsoft. If we were to get this, we'd we'd say, oh look, uh, we're three frames deep into into my fault, and we took a page fault. The page fault was um, was initiated by hardware because we accessed the uh, uh, logical address where the valid bit was not set, and when we went to resolve it, we find out that it's invalid. Okay, it's, we can't resolve the page fault because the address is invalid. There's, uh, there's no place of backing store to pull it in for the page fault. So, one of the commands I executed is dot bug check. That tells you uh, what the bug check code is. And all these bug check codes are on Microsoft.com. And you can look them up and see what the parameters are. And uh, in the case is a D1. Uh, that is a... Uh, Invalid memory access at an elevated RQL. And if we go to frame three, um, where the access was made, again, we can see all the information and in the receiver registers on uh, where uh, what exactly happened. And a cursory um, examination can be made. And since it is in my fault and, and uh, not a Microsoft driver, uh, in this case, the dump should be sent to the vendor of my fault um, uh, first, or a dump could be sent to Microsoft possibly in parallel. But um, most likely, in a case like this, it would, we'd, be, we'd redirect you to the vendor, since the vendor, the vendor's code is the one that made the <clears throat> invalid access. Uh, so I hope this makes things clearer, and I hope you enjoyed the video. And again, um, go to my blog, askbob.tech, for some more information about Windows internals. And again, this is a companion video for Memory Dump 101, and uh, go over the blog, and um, if you haven't already, and hopefully it'll provide information uh, to uh, allow you to uh, look at a memory dump and uh, make a make a better determination on um, to send it to Microsoft first or not. Thank you for watching the video.